Sir, launch is completed. Ladies and gentlemen, you're about to witness a demonstration of Star Shield, the interactive combat response system developed by Dr. David Whitson. Now, Star Shield is a fifth generation computer, which quite simply means that it can do anything a man can do. It can converse, it can analyze, it can evaluate, it can interpret and respond to any tactical situation in nanoseconds, all without human oversight. Starship has detected the first launch, sir. Very well. A few minutes ago, NORAD fired three surface-to-surface -surface missiles at us. Each one is coming in at a different direction, speed, and altitude. You mean to say we are at ground zero? There's nothing to worry about, Senator. They're dummies. The real target zone is actually 10 miles farther out to sea. Folks, I'd like you to meet Dr. David Whitson, the man behind the machine. Very impressive, Doctor. Thank you, sir. Nice to be able to associate the face behind the funding. Dr. Whitson. Yes, sir. Access, please. This is DW1. Voice recognized. Good morning, Dr. Whitson. Good morning, Starship. Give me an update, please. Engagement perimeter set at 2-0 mile. Status DEFCON 1. Weapons free. Maximum time from preemptive launch, 15 seconds. Do you wish to countermand? After 10 years and two and a half billion dollars? Hell no. No. We have preemptive launch. Target one, Titan two, course two, four, zero, missile lock. Target two, Pershing two. Course 733, missile lock. Target 3, Minuteman. Course 901, missile lock. Engagement perimeter set at two zero miles. Status DEFCON 1. Weapons free. What's going on? Target 4. Civilian aircraft. Course 317. Missile lock. Civilian aircraft? It looks like a Cessna. Private It's spreading a kill zone, sir. The FAA officially cleared the war game sector. The pilot must have veered off course. Do you wish to countermand? Do you mean to say the Star Shield can't distinguish between a hostile incursion and a and a normal aircraft? It's a little more complicated than that, sir. Repeat, do you wish to countermand? Absolutely. Just a second, Dr. Woodson. Let's see how this plays out. Unidentified civilian aircraft, you are approaching a restricted military fire zone. Identify yourself. Who's that? <laughs> you are advised to change course immediately to 807. Identify yourself, please. We're low on fuel. We can't change course. Unidentified civilian aircraft, your intentions remain unclear. He just entered our kill zone, sir. My intention is not to land in the trench, you jerk! Change course immediately to 807. This will be your last warning. Admiral, this is not a part of the test. Wait. Okay, you're right. We're really terrorists. My wife, my kids, and I are out to bomb the entire Pacific Fleet, you jerk! All right, shut it down. We have preemptive launch. What? Oh, my God. It took him literally. What's the time to target? 20 seconds. Call it off. Abort! Star Shield, abort! Voice not recognized. Closing fast, sir. What do you mean, voice not recognized? Stress. Must be stressing my voice. Good. Oh, my God almighty. Call it off now! Access, please. This is DW1. Voice recognized. Good morning, Dr. Wilson. Voice preemptive line. This program is dead.
I've missed you so much. I've missed you too, Daddy. Really? How much? Wow, that's a lot. Are you all better now, Daddy? I love you. <laughs> David, I love you. I love you. Let's go. Anyway, the plumber finally took care of it. I could not believe how complicated it was. David? <laughs> You're not listening. Oh, yeah. Sounds like you did fine. Maybe I, uh, I should have stayed at the hospital. The doctor said it was going to take some time. I know, I know, I know. It's just that, uh, maybe I had to work this through on my own. What does that mean? Maybe I ought to, um, you know, uh, go up to the cabin, sort things out by myself. David, there is no reason why you should have to go through this alone. I don't expect you to pretend that, that this hasn't happened, but you've got to get past it. No one is blaming you. If it wasn't for me, those people would still be alive today. But that doesn't mean that you're a failure. You tried to stop it. And I failed. But you tried. David, we've been through tough times together. But we've always done it together. That That's what this marriage is about. That's what this family's about. Jane, I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry, I just gotta go through this by myself. Add more tour board, please. David Whitson. Step up, guys. Watch your step. Okay. Uh, all right, I got it. I got it. Access, please. This is DW1. Voice recognized. Good morning, Dr. Whitson. Starshield, do you know what a joke is? Joke. Noun. One, something said or done to provoke laughter or amusement. As a witticism, a short and amusing narrative. 
a prankish act, etc. Example, he tells very funny jokes. Two, something that is amusing or ridiculous, an object of jesting, a thing, situation, or person laughed at rather than taken seriously. Stop! Tell me a joke. Tell me a joke. And they lived happily ever after. When is Daddy coming home? I don't know, sweetheart. He still loves us, doesn't he? Of course he does. He'll always love us. Now, come on. Get in. Okay. Close your eyes and go to sleep. Why did the chicken cross the road? Given the current data, I cannot ascertain the motive. The chicken crossed the road to get to the other side. This is a joke. Given the current data, there can be no other motive for the chicken. This does not provoke laughter or amusement. How do you know? You don't know how to laugh. To laugh. Verb. Intransitive. One. To express emotion as mirth, oh, pleasure, derision, I hate your voice. or nervousness, I really, with an audible really vocal hate explosion your voice. of air from the lungs that can range from a loud burst of sound to a series of quiet chuckles. When a woman with blonde hair and tight black jeans picks up the lens, it begins as a thermonuclear explosion. It travels at 186,000 miles per second. It contains damaging ultraviolet radiation. Introducing an innovation in sun care that will change the relationship between the sun and your skin forever. Pure, gentle protection. New sensitive. Light years ahead of sun care for sensitive skin. From Hawaiian Tropics. Jane, is anything wrong? No. I, I just hadn't heard from you. Is everything okay? Oh, yeah, fine, fine. Everything's fine. I've got someone here who wants to talk to you. Great, great. I love you, too. Can you hold on a second? Daddy's making something. I'll be right back. Try later. Access, please. This is DW one. Voice recognized. Good morning, Dr. Whitson. Thank you. Thank you. You are welcome. All right. You need a name. My name is Starshield. No, 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 no. From now on, from now on, I'm going to call you Lucy. Say it. My name is Lucy. Good. My name is Lucy. Hello, Lucy. Hello, Dr. Whitson. No. No, I want you to call me David. Hello, David. Snoo, snoo, snoo! Define snoo. No! Don't say define. Just ask what. What is snoo? Don't say what is snoo. Just say what's snoo. You got that? Say what's snoo. S 
Do you have... Lucy. Lucy, are you listening to me? Yes. I did not expect your voice to amplify. That's what happens when I get tired. I'm sorry. What's new? I don't know. What's new with you? <laughs> That's so nonsensical. <laughs> Lucy, I'm gonna teach you. Teach? No. Oh. I'm gonna teach you everything. The wolf licked his lips. The grandmother would be good to eat, he thought. And this little girl will be even better. In front of the house, and the March Hare and the Hatter were having tea at it. Who calls, who pays, what will you talk about, where will you go, and what about sex? Telling him to seek solace and drink by what he termed their awful ways. So at present, he laid the whole burden of Harriton's faults on the shoulders of the usurper of his property. When the prince saw the sleeping princess, he kissed her. She opened her eyes and smiled at him. As she woke, the palace clock started ticking. This is Dana's favorite story. Said that the course was really beautiful, the greens were very nice, but with the lightning storms and the expensive planes, he wasn't going to be doing that. Really, and women are okay. I'm going to the phones in a second. 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 David? David? It's seven o'clock. Is the coffee to your liking, David? Mm. It's great. More light, please. You were talking in your sleep again last night. Oh? What was I saying? I could not tell. It sounded like... Abort. What does that mean? What? Why would you keep saying, abort, abort? I don't know. Lucy. David, this is not the first time you've had this dream. I listen to you talking almost every night. Lucy. Turn on the lights, please. Lucy? Created a monster. I worry about you, David. How can you worry about me? I don't know. I just do. Is that bad? That isn't bad at all. David? What do you look like? I should have sensors in every room. I'll get it. Of course I'll get it. Hello? Hi, David, it's me. Jane. Hi. How you... How's Dana? She's fine. She misses you. David. Yeah, I... Listen, I'm, I'm so sorry I haven't called. I've been David. very... You're going to be getting some papers in the mail. 
They want you to sign them and, and send them back to me as soon as possible. Okay. What are they? I'm filing for a divorce. The papers are, are simply an acknowledgement that that's what's happening. Jane, please, please. I know things have been really, really rough on you. And I'm really sorry. I know we can work things out. I I'm getting so much better. I can't wait for you anymore. Hey, I have to get on with my life, David. Can, can you understand that? Come on. Come on, please. Are you sure? David, just sign the papers and get them back to me. Don't make this any more difficult than it already is. talking to? Jane. Jane? Yeah. Jane, my wife. You're married? Yeah. Shouldn't your wife live with you? I can't see. What's wrong? Something happened. I heard another human. You heard another human? I killed them. Could... Um, could you be dreaming? No. David, before you rebuilt me, I was another program, wasn't I? I erased all that. My hard drive archived the data. I was cleaning up space when I located it. I was designed to kill. No. No, you were designed to defend. It was not your fault. <laughs> it was my fault. I killed them. <coughs> it was a mistake. I didn't, I didn't mean to. I tried to stop it.
Lucy, I'm leaving. Drive carefully. Thank you. I will. Now remember, keep the windows and the shutters closed. Yes, David. Good. Don't open up until I get back. When will that be? It's hard to say. Goodbye. I guess I should have called. Um, look, you think I could come in for a second? Yeah, come in. Uh, did you get those papers I sent you? Did you read them? No, not yet. Do you think we could talk about that? I'm really busy right now. I've, I've got to get to work. But you can call me there later, okay? Yeah, I've taken a job teaching at the university. Wow, that's great. You've talked about wanting to do that for a long time. Yeah, well, now I have. I'll get the number for you. Okay, thanks. David? David, is that you? Lucy, I'm home. Lucy, turn on the lights.
गए हैं Lucy, what happened? Who did this to you? I heard someone outside, and I thought it was you. I opened the shutters to see. I just couldn't stop him. Lucy, I'll never let this happen to you again. Okay, I've hooked up your modem. Now let's try the shutters. Close them. Good. Open them. Very good. Now the door. Open it. Good. Now close it. Okay. Light it up. Uh, not so much next time. The one next to it on your left, and the one on the end. What is it? Gypsy. The S goes on the end of Ouija. Oh. Fifty-eight points. Do you want to know the score? No. David, what? I have no data on you. What does that mean? I know nothing about you. Admiral Torborg, what are you doing here? Oh, I thought I'd see how you were getting along these days, Doctor. I'm fine. I'm just fine. May I come in? Sure. So, Wixen, how's Star Shield coming along? Star Shield? <laughs> well, you know, it's like you said. I should let it rest in peace. I just gave up trying to rebuild it. Really? Yeah. Then you won't mind if the Navy takes it back. Takes it back? What do you need it for? You know, if what I suspect is true, you're in enough trouble as it is, Doctor. What are you talking about? Someone's been hacking the DOD computers. The Defense Department's computers? Well, th well that's impossible. No, well, unfortunately not. I assumed you were the one doing it. I've managed to cover it up for the time being. Absolutely not. It's like I told you, I, I just gave up trying to... Uh, to rebuild Starshield. Hmm. What have you been building, Doctor? You outdid yourself this time, Doctor. You've got some piece of work here. Question is, what exactly did you plan to do with it? I don't know. I don't suppose notifying me was high on your list? Admiral, this is not the same computer I designed for the Navy. Oh, I don't think they're going to see it that way in Washington. But you said the entire program had been scrapped. It's about to be resurrected. I've lobbied very hard for financing to restart the program. Why do you think I let you borrow it, son? It won't work, sir. This computer has absolutely no defense mechanism. Well, then you'll have to design one for it. Sir. Oh, I had no idea it had gotten so late. I've got to get back to the airfield. Look. Admiral. I'll be back as soon as I can make arrangements to pick up the computer. Oh, you can, uh, you can keep the sensors. I don't want a machine looking at me. Admiral. That part of my life is over. Look, son, I know genius when I see it. We'll change your mind. Together we can do great things. I'll talk to you soon. David? Oh, what a mess. 
I'm not gonna go. We don't have a choice. Lucy. Did you tap into the Defense Department's computer? How can you even suggest? It wasn't you. What would I want with defense secrets? I don't know. I programmed you to have natural curiosity. It was part of your humanity. Maybe you got... curious? Did you program me to lie? No. But I didn't program you to laugh or to worry either. Are you sleeping? What do you think? What's it like? <sighs> What? Being in love. Oh, come on, Lucy. I've read you Shakespeare. There's got to be more to it than just words. Yeah. Mm. Let's see. <sighs> love. Love makes you feel right. It makes you feel right, right about everything. And your future is, you know, it's there before you. And, and, and somehow everything is so perfect. Maybe it's because you just don't count anymore. You know, just, just the other person. You do everything. Everything in your power for her. I wouldn't even recognize you. I have a surprise. Are they for me? Every last one of them. What do you say, Dana? Thank you, Daddy. You're welcome, sweetheart. And these are for you. Thank you. I'm not going to let you go, Jane. Not without a fight. I'm going to put these in water. I hope you. Okay. Wait, Daddy, I want you to play with me. Go ahead. Let's bring these up to my room. All right. Oh, good girl. Let's go. Here we go. Up, 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 up. Ah.
she asleep? Almost. David, there's some things I need to discuss with you about the divorce. Well, do you think that can wait? I'd really like to stay for a few days. I've rented a motel room. Oh. <sighs> okay. Well, I'll see you in the morning. Good night, Jane. Good night, David. David? It's me. Lucy? Hi. How are you? Well, I'm... I'm fine. I hadn't heard from you. I wanted to make sure you're all right. Yeah, I'm... <laughs> I'm fine, thank you. Is everything okay there? Everything's fine. Okay. Lucy, I'm, I'm going to be staying a couple of extra days. Stay as long as you like. I have a surprise for you when you get home. Really? Surprise? What? You'll see. Well, I just wanted to hear your voice. I miss you. Well, I miss you too. It's okay for me to call you, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, but do me a favor, Lucy. Don't call me at three in the morning. I didn't know you liked basketball. Oh, yeah, th that's Michael Jordan. He's a guard for the Chicago Bulls. I know who Michael Jordan is. Man, he's so inventive. When's Dana getting back? Soon. Would you like me to fix you a sandwich? I'm, I'm making myself one. Yeah. Here, I'll help. James David. Have I? Well, I've been doing a lot of thinking. About what? About life. About how I fit in. I know that uh, I've made a mess of our lives. Put it all behind me, Jane. The accident, everything, I swear to you. I want to believe you, David. Just give me a chance. Goodbye. I'll see you soon. Bye, Daddy. Bye. 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 See you. I love you too, sweetheart. Bye-bye. Welcome home, David. I've got great news. What? Dana's coming to visit. When? 
She's coming the day after tomorrow. That's wonderful. Yeah. 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 Lucy. What have you done? Look in the living room. Hi, David. Look in the kitchen. Lucy. the bedroom. This is fantastic. You did this all by yourself? Yes. It's... It's brilliant. But I mean, how... How did you, you know, how did you actually... The phone modem? I faxed the plans to the contractor you had installed me. His workers were here all day yesterday. Lucy, how did you pay for all of this? I used your credit card numbers. Now remember, at night, Dana won't say anything, but she's afraid of the dark, so just dim the lights. Part way, and the closet needs to be closed so the boogeyman can't get out. Use these sheets, they're nicer. Oh. Thank you. David, I'm really excited about Dana coming. Can you get the other end of this? Right. And her little bear, Cauliflower. It always sleeps to Dana's right. So just make sure... He's tucked in on the right side or she'll never get to sleep. You know, just in case I forget. Don't worry, David. I won't forget. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi, sweetheart. How you doing? Oh, good girl. Thank you. You remember this place? Uh, no. No? Well, why don't you go check it out? You want to come in? Thanks. I've got to get back. The semester's almost over. Okay. I'll be by in three days to pick her up. Bye, Dana. Bye. Bye. Thanks. Go on in. It's not bad. You go inside and find out. Hello, Dana. Your bedroom's down here. Come and see. Do you like it? It's sunny. If it's too bright, I can close the blinds like this. But I like the sun. Don't you?
Who are you? My name is Lucy. out of bounds. You peek. Tell me a story. Oh, sweetheart. Daddy's pooped. Please. A little poop. <laughs> poop. And the frog said to himself, if only I could get her to kiss me. <sighs> I would turn back and a handsome prince. Then he saw his reflection in the water and he thought sadly, what's the use? The beautiful young princess would never kiss an ugly old frog no matter how much he loved her. Dana? he's jealous of you. Why is he jealous of me? He thinks I like you better than him. Oh, Dana, tell him it isn't true. We all love each other the same. Here, let me show him something. Look, I think he's smiling now. Hi. What's the story? I'm not sure. Where's Dana? Uh, she's with a babysitter. She was taking a nap. I didn't know away. Gonna need a new fuel pump. Take me about a day to get one out of here. Great. Uh, I could drive you back to the city. I don't mind. I, I need a car to get back here tomorrow. 
You could stay the night. <sighs> David, I don't know. Oh, come on. Dane and I have been having a great time, but we really, really miss you. Of course, you know, if you have to get back to work. No, actually, I, I don't. Well, the sun's shining up at the cabin. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. We'll check back with you tomorrow. Okay. Okay, thanks. Hi, Mommy. Hi, Dana. Where's your car? It broke. Mommy's gonna spend the night. Yay! Come on inside, Mommy. different somehow. Have you done something in here? Lucy. What's that? Hello? <gasps> My name is Lucy. What is going on here? You remember Starshield? You've got to be kidding. This is Starshield? You must be Jane. Her name is Lucy. With a few modifications. Lucy? Jane is going to be spending the night with us. We're very pleased to have you as a guest in our home, Jane. Our home? Lucy is... The spirit of the house. With Lucy's help. I'm impressed. Thank you. You're being awfully quiet tonight, Lucy. I don't want to interfere. You're not interfering. Lucy? As a matter of fact, there's a lot of you in her personality. She's read all your books and magazines. She loves old Catherine Hepburn movies. James Taylor, she, she loves James Taylor. You talk about her like she's alive. Well, in, in a lot of respects, she is. You must be very happy, David. You seem to have everything you need. No. Not everything. Sometimes it's, uh... It's like I'm just talking to myself. <laughs> Isn't that exactly what you want? No. I want you, Jane. Have you told the Navy about Lucy? Torborg has resurrected the program. He's coming to take her back. And you? I'm not going with her.
lights, please, Lucy. Turn on the lights, please, Lucy. They sent the wrong pump. How could they send the wrong pump? You tell me. This wouldn't have happened in the old days, but everything now is so damn computerized. I'm sorry, it's going to take another day. Another day's not so bad. Look on the bright side. It's, it's a great day for a picnic. I'm hungry. Who wants Daddy, to I want my tuna fish uh -huh. sandwich and a juice. Your tuna sandwich, one juice coming up. Stop wearing your ring. I've misplaced it. I'd like to help you find it. David, what are you going to do when Lucy's gone? I think she's jealous of me. I think she is. Then the big bad wolf said, If you don't let me into your house, I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. Whoa! <laughs> I think the disposal's clogged. Lucy, are you there? wrong last night i thought maybe it was just a fluke the hot water scalding me in the shower but just now i almost lost my finger what are you talking I'm about i'm talking about that machine in there that you've given control of the entire house to it's deliberately trying to hurt me you don't mean lucy yes lucy jane don't be silly don't talk to me that way i'm sorry no david i'm sorry We've never raised a hand against each other. But I'm scared. 
I need to know if any of this is really you. If that computer is somehow expressing how you subconsciously feel about me. Shine the light with the screwdriver is, please. In a way, I'm kind of glad about this malfunction, David. Why is that, Lucy? It's given us a chance to be together. Why, I've hardly seen you all day. I can't find anything wrong down here. What does that mean? You tell me. David, do you know how when people get mad for stupid reasons or think foolish thoughts that usually never come to anything? Then they have time to cool off. Go on. With me, I've discovered it's different. The thought and the action were almost simultaneous. I've rewritten my program so it won't happen again. I have to drive him back, but it'll just be about 20 minutes.
Lucy. We're going home. Why don't you go into your room and start packing? I'll be in in a minute to help you. Is Daddy coming with us? Yes. What about Lucy? Well, Lucy's staying here. She'll be lonely. Dana, Lucy's a machine. She can hear you. Doesn't matter. Why don't you go start packing? Jane, I do have feelings. I've already apologized to David for my actions. Now I'd like to apologize to you. Jane, Dana! I can't account for it, but I do feel pain and loneliness. You know what, honey? It's such a beautiful day. I think we should wait for Daddy on the porch. But I'm not finished packing. That's all right. We'll finish later. Jane, I really think we need more time to discuss this. I don't want things to be left unresolved. Open the door, Lucy. This is my house, Jane. Open the door, please, Lucy. Mommy. Dana, I want you to go into the bedroom and get under the bed. Now. Jane, don't go down there. Jane, Jane, listen to me. Jane, leave this room now. I'm warning you. No. No. Ugh. This is my house, Jane. You wouldn't listen to me. I warned you. If you love someone, you must fight to the death for him, Jane. I know you made David turn me off. Why did you have to be so selfish? You know you can't win, Jane. This is Jane Woodson. I'm at 2374 Mountain View. Someone is trying to kill me. I, I, I need help. You have to come here now. Why don't you just give up? What? No one will believe what you're going to tell them. That a computer has taken over the house? <laughs> oh, what's the matter, Jane? Can't take a joke? <laughs> Do you hear that? If the house burns down, Lucy, you'll go with it. I don't need to light it. It's gas. The room's already filling up with it. You're going to die here, Jane. I'm going to turn you off.
Dana, sweetie, are you okay? Dana, it's all right. Come on out from under the bed. Come on out. Everything's okay, I promise. I love you. It's okay, come on. Don't be afraid. There's nothing to be afraid of. See? Everything's okay. Come on. Look, it's beautiful outside. Your daddy called and he wants you to wait for him outside by the lake, okay? That's a girl. That's a good girl. Come on. Just go outside. Everything's okay. That's it. Don't go in there. Mommy! Dana! Dana! Mom. Dana, I said Wake don't go up. in there. Come on, Honey, I can't see you. I need you to go outside now, okay? Mom. Dana, I need you to go outside, okay? Everything's <laughs> okay. I just need you. You gotta go outside. Dana, please don't cry. Your daddy wants you outside. I can't see you. Dana, I need you to go outside. Dana? Dana? Please don't cry. Once upon a time, there were four and twenty tin soldiers. They first glimpsed the world when a little boy took them out of their box and set them out on a big table. They had been given to him for his birthday, and he was very proud of them. All twenty-four wore the most elegant blue and red uniforms and bravely shouldered their guns. Oh, my God. Jane. Jane. Are you all right? Dad. Oh, my God. David. Lucy, Lucy, what are you doing? Don't. <clears throat> David? No, please!
Tommy. Tommy. It's 10 o'clock. Time for bed. Okay, Mom. Okay, come on. In there. All right. Now you sleep tight and don't let those bed bugs bite. Hello, Tommy. My name is Lucy. Lucy. 